because saying the devil is just a whipping post for people who do stupid shit. Who else to blame it on? Let's create a figure and blame it on him. Oh, I drunk and drive. I hit a five-year-old child crossing across the street. The devil made me do it. Bullshit. You made yourself do it. There's an uh, there's an old saying that uh that a lot of white people like promoting, uh, <laughs> and it's a trip. The greatest trick that the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he didn't exist. There's a there's a documentary called uh, Out of Egypt, the birth of the devil. A lot of people didn't know they could see you know back in ancient times in the Syrian times and and uh, uh, way way back man we're talking like before the tenth dynasty of, of Egypt or should I say Kemet we're talking before then you know because you had other ancient cultures that were thriving as well you know they just weren't as large and as powerful as a uh, Kemet but they were thriving too and guess what they were black people. You know, point blank. And, of course, Israelites were oppressed in these uh, different cultures. You know, we we went through Syrian oppression, uh, man, Babylonian oppression, Persian oppression. You know, all these were all black people. You know what I'm saying? But my point being is that, man, um, a lot of the evil ways that they did in those ancient days, man, uh, was excused. And it wasn't until right around the time, I can't remember exactly what dynasty in, in Kemet, but it was it was, it was within a 500-year period of uh, Amenhotep was when Kemet now, yeah, Kemet, the citizens of Kemet were noticing good and evil. You know what I'm saying? They were noticing a bad and a good. They were able to determine the difference. Because see, there was a lot of uh, treacherous ways, evil ways that were that were considered normal before then. So, brother, um, you're saying that the devil is a whipping post, man. Oh man, you're you're being like overly practical, man. Um, if you don't want to see evil for what it is, man, uh, that's one thing when you refuse to see it or should I say reject to see it for what it is and you want to make it practical all that basically does is make it easier for what you call the devil it makes it easier for him to whip even more practical practical uh, principles within your thinking your thought process you want to reject this you, there's so much right and wrong that you want to reject and you are rejecting it it's kind of sad, but that's what you're doing. Things just happen. People die of crazy ways all the time. People who so-called do things for Jesus or God, whatever, who are murdered, do they deserve it? No, brother, they didn't deserve to die. Because they were dying for Jesus, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I I spit on this whole Jesus thing because I know where it came from. I mean, because uh, this Jesus Christ, I mean, the Christ deal is basically saying the anointed. But, you know, uh, a lot of white people and a lot of people worldwide, because of what white people have broadcast and amplified, they think this. They think the Messiah is for everyone. No, man, there's an order of things. See, you know, us as Hebrew Israelites, we know that there's an order. You see what I'm saying? See, this is not about, <laughs> this is not about uh, Jesus loves everybody. He loves everybody all the same. No, brother, no, 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 hell no. The Messiah told his disciples to go seek out the lost sheep, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yahweh's people, the people that he has enslaved because they disobeyed repeatedly over and over and over and over again. But see, we're going to be redeemed one day. 
It's not going to be too long, but we will be redeemed. Revelations 3, 9 tells about the people who are impersonating us, which are those Ashkenazi Jews, that they are going to come and bow before our feet so that they will know that Yah has loved us. That's kind of away from the point. But, but um, the overall point of this, man, is we know we are learning what time it is our people people like me we're finding out the truth here through the scriptures because the scriptures belongs to us they're us man they're about us they're not about these white people white people i mean take a look at white people's history man they have stolen everything and claimed it as their own and they've raised so many generations into believing that it is all about them, that it's them, and it's not. White man saw the, the scriptures. He saw that we are a powerful people, and he decided to strip us of that knowledge, strip us of our connection to Yah, strip us of our culture, strip us of our uh, dignity, strip us of our names, strip us of everything that's why we're running around like chickens with our heads cut off in this country right now and brother there's 10 times more of us there's there's over 10 times as many of us down in south america man if you look at the slave trade a whole lot more of us were sent down there there's a bunch of us in the caribbean in, in, in jamaica over in europe man we're scattered to all four corners of the earth man lost a lost people the lost sheep that Yeshua was talking about, Yeshua ben Yosef. Um, the people that died, man, a lot of them died for the sake of Christianity. And like I was saying, Christianity is a is a word, basically, another way of saying the anointed, And but they, they twisted it. They twisted it completely. Our people are Yah's people. We are his people. No doubt. And these things just don't happen. They're happening for a reason, man. We are the people of Yah. We are his people. There's no way around that, man. You, I don't care how many European concepts you come up with. All these things just be. And, you know, people just die. Things are just, why can't they just be? <laughs> Man, you might as well be over there with uh, L. Ron Hubbard with the Scientology thing, man. I mean, the, what was that uh, Fresh Prince? Will Smith went on TV and saying two and two is not four. Two and two is whatever I want it to be. I mean, you might as well be rolling with that concept, man. I mean, because that's basically where you're coming from. If you take a look at what you're saying, it's rooted there. And Scientology ain't no joke, man. That's some dangerous stuff. But, you know, that's just my personal opinion. I mean, but it is dangerous. Anyway, brother, you have to um, you have to take a step back and give the scriptures a chance. And you're dismissing the scriptures and you're using this practical knowledge. And now I'm I'm assuming that you're talking about ancient times, not about now. If you're talking about now, then oh man, that I mean hell, that's how I win arguments because people who contest me on the knowledge they're always talking about well your people are shooting each other and the people over in Africa they're they're they're, they're doing this and that to each other da, 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 da. they always use common current events to argue a point about black people because they have not absorbed the history and brother if you don't want to get a hold of the history you you I see you're not talking about nothing about history you're not going to the root of anything of what you're saying so therefore uh how are you going to make a point where's your foundation i mean really really seriously out of respect brother where is your foundation of your purpose for this video for your claim where's your foundation brother and if you know what your foundation is bring it to light let's talk about it because i guarantee you we're going to get to the bottom of where it's rooted and I guarantee you that it's not rooted in anything concerning our people in Africa. Because that practical knowledge that you're promoting, man, it's not, it's not African knowledge or Akibula knowledge. 
It's not Israel knowledge. It comes out of the knowledge of the Gentiles, man. Straight up. 